So is that him? Yeah, it is. Now let's get him in the truck. I assume you guys have found him. I have waited too long to find such power. Now it's sitting right at my shoes. He is the power of the devil. I believe that now. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not fall. We believe in evil. We believe this could be the Antichrist. What else would he be? He is pure evil. The devil's serial killer. Antichrist, load of bullshit. Hey, shut up, man. This is the devil's serial killer. All hail.
Have you fixed a damn car yet? I'm freezing out here. Do you ever quit your whining? It's not my fault the car doesn't work. I got a cheap crap deal on this fucking thing. Goddamn bastard ripped me off in this car. Son of a bitch. Just fix it, Finn. I don't want to be late for the others. Finn, what was that noise? Finn? What the fuck? What the hell could have done all this? I was hoping for a quiet morning. We found old Kenny's body over there, Sheriff. Uh, maybe he has something to do with it. I don't know who these folk are. They could be from all over the place, but we got paramedics down here quick to identify them. These aren't the first murders around here. Hey, Sheriff. I know what you're dealing with, my friend. Evil. You're dealing with pure evil, Sheriff. The worst thing you could face. Peter Morgan, you know you're not supposed to be here. What are you doing? Kenny was innocent, Sheriff. He wasn't a cult leader, and this ain't no cult. He believed in evil though, and he would do anything to destroy it. As would I, and that's what I'm here to do. And I would like if you help me. For God's sake, Morgan, would you leave it to the police? It's gonna take more than police to handle Mason White, Sheriff. You should know this. Well, I hoped you'd know it. Right now we're wasting time. His power could be grown, it'd be harder to kill him. We don't have much time. Hey Tim, you're okay? You seem a bit upset. Nah, it's Melissa. She's going with her best friend with those two guys that I don't really like on the... They're going to that villa. I don't know what they're doing. But they're troublemakers, so I like to avoid them. Have you tried talking to her? Yeah, Can I get I'm you anything phone, else, sir? She, I just get the nonsense. Nah, I'm good, babe. Don't worry about don't it. Don't worry, I'm sure she'll come around. She has to. Yeah, but the villa's out in the forest area. You know, I don't like it out there. I'm worried for her. 
They're as good as dead, kid. No one's safe walking alone at night these days, kid. Not anymore. <laughs> Unless you know what you're dealing with. Of course I do. Um, I don't know you, so why don't you just keep your mouth shut and stop talking about my friends, okay? Oh, I don't think you want me to do that. Your friends are in terrible danger, you know. Heading up there all alone. I've had it. Shut the fuck up! Hey, cut that shit out! Morgan, what a surprise. Sure, if he was talking crap about me. I saw what happened. Cover them both. And take them to the station. Melissa, are you still messaging that useless boyfriend again? He just doesn't want me to go. Yeah, he's spoiling all your fun. I'd dump his nerdy ass if I were you. Now come on, let's go. Show me the way to go home I'm tired and I wanna go to bed I had a little drink about an hour ago And it's gone right to my head Everywhere I roam Did you ever shut up? Well, someone doesn't like old music or my singing What's the matter with you? Well, you tell me my friends are in danger and then you got me locked into a prison cell. I'm sorry about that. My name is Peter Morgan. I used to be a cop, you know, back when I was younger. Huh, right. I'm Tim. And you're gonna tell me what that crap was you pulled at the diner? As you wish. Tell me. Have you ever heard of Mason White? No. Why? Who is he? Evil is what he is. My friend Kenny tried to kill him, but he's dead. And many more will be if we don't stop him. I was on duty the day he made his first kills. They called it the day of death. He killed at least 11 people. 11. I was called to the scene of one of the victims. This was the first time I was called to a crime scene, and I prayed it was the last. I want you to look everywhere. We'll stay out all night if we have to until we find this son of a bitch. He's wounded, so he won't be strong. He can't have gone far, so look in the forest, backyards. We never found him that day. What else happened? After we finally gave up looking for him, five months come by, and he strikes again, but this time we get him. I never thought I would have seen the day when Mason White died, in the hands of his own crush. But, he didn't stay dead. He's nothing but an invincible killing machine. I imagine many have tried to stop him and many have failed. His latest victims. No one survived. And he's still out there, right now. They're lurking in the shadows. Me and Kenny were gathering information. What makes him immortal? He then concluded that perhaps if he could consume flesh, he could regenerate his own flesh and become more stronger. Okay then, so what do we do? Do you really think I would have allowed myself to get arrested if I didn't know how to get out of here? Melissa, what are you complaining about now? 
This whole idea, obviously, it's stupid. You guys, man, you gotta check out this house. It's insane. Oh, this is what I call the house. Now, where the hell are the booze at, man? Hey officer, we got a problem. My friend here has a case of the shits and there's no toilet paper. Would you mind getting us some? Oh right, yes, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'll be right back then. Hopefully this should be enough. Hey, come here a second. Right, let's get out of here. Michael, Michael, do you know if there's any more donuts left over? Michael, where are you? My, oh shit. Oh, I can't have an easy afternoon either. Look at you men, drinking together. Hey, don't forget it's the weed, babes. That's the best bit, you know, better than any shitty alcohol. You know, I reckon we should come back here every bloody, like, summer. Just nick this place house. Mmm, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea, dude. This rich guy clearly has fucking shit security in his ass, you know. We could take it all for ourselves, you know. You know, I'm not even sure if I 100% believe you about all this crap you told me. You better, kid. And hey, you sure this is the right place where we're going? Yes, I'm positive. Hey, Melissa, you okay? You've been quiet since we got here. I don't know, Becky. I just I just think I should go home. I think I'm spoiling the fun, you know? <laughs> yeah, you got that right, babe. Totally spoiling the fun of that damn boyfriend of yours. Shut the fuck up, Carl. Ooh, all right then. All defensive, aren't you? <laughs> Come on, let's go and play some pool. So, do you have any ideas how you're gonna kill him? Of course I do. The sheriff was kind enough to leave his shotgun in the back. That'll slow him down. Once again, Becky, you beat me again, just like always. No, oh, don't be like that. You'll win one day. Anyway, I need to go and find Paul. See what he's up to. But hey, stick around. Hey, what do you say we check out the upstairs room? I heard it's um, not occupied. A house with a bedroom not occupied? Oh baby, I know what you're playing at, come on.
the light. Ah, oh, who cares, babe? Nah, this better be Paul's idea of a sick joke. Hey, what's going on? How the fuck should I know? Maybe the owner of this place has come back to fuck with us for all I care. No, never mind. The guy owns a helicopter and there's no helicopter, so the guy can't be back. I was hoping to find a boat, but jet skis will have to do. It's just over those rocks, right? Yeah. Hey, I thought you said you knew exactly where this place was. Not what, 100%. I'm more of a city person. So quick talking and grab a jet ski. We should go up there and check on them. Fuck that. I don't want to go into a room and see them on top of each other. idea. Oh God, Carl, quick! <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Melissa, down here. Tim, oh my god. You need to jump. We have to move now. Tim, I think I broke my leg. He'll be okay, we'll get you out of here. We can't use the jet skis. Melissa can't walk. We should call paramedics to send a helicopter to come pick us up. You got your phone on you? Yeah, I do. And uh, I'll, I'll call them. like a broken leg. The other one's badly bruised. We need to get you to the hospital right away. Are you coming? The hospital's not too far. I should stay. Fuck it. Come on, are you ready to go? Yeah.
How much longer are they going to take? It's been nearly half an hour. It won't be long, buddy. Ah, there you are. You can see her now. Dispatch, gonna need you to bring in a helicopter, over. Roger that, officer. Sending a chopper around to you now. Doctor, what's her condition? Will she be able to walk again? Will she be fine? Oh, she can walk. Maybe not as well, but she just needs some rest. Tim? Is that you? My legs... I can't remember what happened. Hey, don't worry, you're safe now. Heard we got some more corpses coming in. Yeah, so it looks like it was a slaughterhouse. Bloody hell. Dr. Miller, the sheriff has arrived here. Um, maybe you should talk to him. Right, this better be important. I'm not surprised to see you here, Morgan, after that crap you pulled earlier. Eh, shut up, Sheriff. If it wasn't for me, those kids would be long good dead. I should put you back in a fucking cell, Peter. Would you like to try? Gentlemen, this is hardly the place for arguing. This is a hospital. Can you please do this at, at your police station? My apologies, Dr. Miller. But I'll have a word with this filth later. Is that okay? As long as you don't try and lock me up again, Sheriff. Hey Darren, what time do you get off tonight? I don't, I'm here all night, 24 hours. Anyway, what time is it? Ah uh, yes, I should probably go for a break. I could use one. Evening, Doctor. Darren. You know, I never thought I would see you again. I mean, after... I met that crazy bastard, I don't know what was going to happen. Yeah, who is that guy anyway? He said he used to be a cop. Oh shit, what the fuck? What's happening with the lives? I'm not sure, Doctor. Maybe the power generator just went boom. It's right outside. My deputy will go with you. See what the problem was. Be hey, careful. There's blood here. Something's not right. Oh, Doctor, what's happening? Oh, it's nothing to worry about. The deputy's checking on the problem. Williams, have you saw the generator yet? Williams, are you there? Deputy? Deputy Williams, do you read me? What's happening? What's your situation? Have you figured out what's wrong with the generator? Is the doctor with you? Williams. I'm afraid he's dead, Sheriff. Oh, why don't you shut your fucking mouth, Morgan? I need you guys to just remain here and be calm. Doctor, what's going on? Wait here, it's just a power malfunction. Deputy. Williams, would you pick up, God damn it? Can you walk? We need to get out of here. He's here, isn't he? Oh, 
Where is everyone? Dr. Miller? Ah, uh, Doctor. You know how to fly this fucking thing, right? Uh, a little bit, yeah, what about you? I had one or two lessons, but it's not enough. It will have to do, I'm afraid. I got a plan, now go. Oh fuck, he's crazy. Shit, we have to go back for him. No, let's go. You're right about that son of a bitch. Get out of here now! Oh shit! It's just me and you, Mason. This won't kill you. I don't know what will. I'm gonna take the last couple of bodies away. Sure.
Their bodies still 